Hi, it's Ian Hull. Welcome to Hull & Hull TV. I am going to work through a mini-series of topics over the next short while relating to what are very important estate planning choices and choices which I find some of my clients take a little too lightly. And that is, who is going to be your power of attorney, both personal care and property? Who is going to be your executor? And in the unique situations where you have a trust, who should be your trustee? So let's start with the choice of power of attorney. Now, powers of attorney, of course, in Ontario, we have powers of attorney for property, and we have powers of attorney for personal care. The individual you are going to choose in regard to those two options are sometimes different and are, of course, vital because you will be living when all of them are going to be, when all of the decisions are going to be made by them. So let's start with the power of attorney for property. Power of attorney for property is this. If you've done a power of attorney, which is effective the minute you've signed the power of attorney, it comes into force and effect, you have essentially handed over your personal affairs financially to someone to look after. So you want to have someone, obviously, who you can trust. Number one in any of these decisions ever is going to be trust. Trust is the number one. Number two is Consider the, the, the tasks for which they are going to be assigned and they're going to have to do. And a power of attorney for property is an easy illustration because, of course, the task is going to be someone who can run your money, look after your financial affairs, is prepared to either delegate or will do the necessary granular detail that's required when you think about it to pay your bills and to keep money flowing out while you are under a disability and that you are incapable of doing this. And it could be as simple as a car accident where you hit your head and you are out of the, uh, out of the loop, so to speak, for a shorter, a finite period of time, or sometimes in circumstances, of course, when we get older and we create situations of declining health by cognition loss. So that's number one, and that is the choice of power of attorney in the context of a power of attorney for property. So thanks very much for joining me today with Two Minutes with Hull and Hull.